Hello everyone, welcome to uh, Sunburn Albano Does Tinder, Episode 7. They seem to have changed the format of Tinder since the last time I signed in. You see it's doing the, these little billboard neon Las Vegas uh, slides now. You know, just really trying to get you to sign up for Tinder Plus, which is a super pointless, pointless thing. Don't let anything fool you, it is absolute garbage. But... You know? Okay, so let's... Uh, yeah, I'm like looking at my computer. No, this is done with my phone. So, uh, yeah, that's me, in case you're new. <laughs> like, let's just start. What, is, what does it matter? Great great intro to begin with. It's only going to get better from here. We've got Alex21. Don't ask me to meet your mom. Like, ever? UMKC School of Business, cat lover, and adventuring gal. Oh, I see. Oh, no, I actually understand what that uh, implies. What if my mom dies? Will, like, you go to her funeral? Like, if we've been together for, like, six months and my mom dies, will you, like, in its open casket so you can, like, talk to her? Like, hey, I'm Alex. I'm Kevin's whatever we'd be at that point that you would say. I don't know. Anyway, I mean, she's cute, so, like, you know, just, I don't know what... 100% of poll Tinder users picked the Morgan Mule. No. No, they didn't. Unless I'm about to be the only dissident there. Oh, makes sense. What? Oh, Diane23. I work full time for the leftover time. I have. I like to go trail riding, fishing, camping, bonfires, and hanging out with my friends. I live in the country, and that will never change. I mean, well, when you die, you'll kind of leave and go somewhere else. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm down to earth, low to no drama. And love to enjoy life day by day. Oh, I see you're a rebel. You're not keeping out of the place it tells you to keep out of. Damn, you know what that tells me. Oh, you caught a fish with your fingers? Interesting. It's, I mean, I've never seen anyone do that. There's like a different animal in every picture here. This bird looks like, did it just get birthed? Or did it just take a, like, take a... I almost said take a dump, but what I mean is, like, take a, like, get submerged in water. That's what I'm trying to, I'm just trying, you know, I'm just a dude trying to figure this out. But, uh, no thanks. Lexi, 18. I'm a classical musician. Ooh, and a barista. Meh. I love nature, art, sushi, and the office. My fur baby's name is Kaylee, and she's an 11-year-old Australian shepherd. I don't, it kind of rubs me the wrong way when people call them fur babies. He said, oh, I was going to say what animal it is, but then he said shepherd, and like, I should know what that is. Where is it? Oh, that looks like the dog that just attacked my cat uh, this afternoon. So that's cool. I want to kill it. But, you know, that's not your fault, I guess. You know, we had to chase it away with, like, a deck, a patio chair, and then yell at our neighbors, who were Korean. Because uh, they, always, they always leave their dog... Just they just let him run around, and they never like it always gets out, and we're just like, why haven't you eaten it yet? Like that's what I don't. Are you fattening it up with you know like they do with steak? Well, see like the dogs. You know it's prime as now. Just you know just dig in. But uh, no thanks there, Kyra. I need a date on the June twenty four, twenty seventeen. Only for a day. I'm 300 pound. If you don't like me, fuck it. Just skip me, bitch. You don't seem like you're 300 pounds. You look good for 300. Like, as if that's a compliment. Uh, obviously, no. Madison, 18. What happened to your upper lip? Or is that your tongue? Did you... Did you bite off your tongue? Or did you... Like, rip the paint off your upper lip. 5'11", so if you want D1 kids, hit my line. Don't know what that means. I'm not in to the whole, like... Is youth lingo, like, getting weirder now? Like, are they still coming up with new shit? I mean, I'm 22. I'm only four years out of the loop on this one. It's like, am I really old now? Certified to save lives. I mean, that could mean anything. Also, water polo is cool. Oh, so you're probably a lifeguard then. Which, oh, well, hello. 
Uh, nah. Nah. Robin 19. Pansexual. No, just, just kidding. Naomi 19. Here's the thing. I mean, pansexual's fine, but pansexuals think that anyone who's not pansexual is, like, oppressing everybody else. So I'll just, like, not have that be what's happening to me. Uh, Naomi 19. No bio. Sorry if I'm scrolling through a little fast, but... Is that... Who is... I can't tell if that is a little boy or a weird teenage girl. On the right. Not on the left. Obviously, that's, you know, a person that we recognize as the same one in all the other photos. Do you have, like, leukemia on the right? I mean, I love my leukemia jokes, but... I didn't know I was gonna see one in person. Oh! Now, uh... Yeah, no thanks. Not particularly. Oh, we have Jacques. Jacques, 21. Rosé and Beyoncé. What language are you? I mean, French, right? Like, that's... I thought it was, like, Jacques, though. You know, like, Jacques Cousteau. The famous, not really, underwater explorer. I don't know what he did, except just dive a lot. It's like, good for you. What is... Do you have a little baby hand? Is that your actual size hand? No, it's... Oh, I see, it's fake. <laughs> I was, I thought you were interesting for a second. Uh, Jaylene 19. I don't know who that guy is, but he looks like he hosted Blue's Clues and then went on a fucking bender. So, you know, weird people to associate with. Also, you're kissing him not even on the cheek, you're kissing him on the fucking jaw. What is that supposed to be about? Like, is that supposed to feel good? That just makes me like want to chew gum that doesn't make any sense what i just said but it came to mind so now it's it's out there oh we have megan bats bat emojis in portland for the summer easily won over with fluffy dogs probiotics gardening skills and free mints get me out of my parents house please also more bats are you also won over with bats because i've got like this giant stockade of bats that I torture by having them out in the sun all day. And, you know, it's not good for them, but it makes me laugh. So, you know, you probably wouldn't like me. Uh, Cassidy18. I don't know what I'm doing on here, but I'm just gonna send it. Okay. I'm a mediocre-looking girl who has an obnoxious laugh and a knack for making quesadillas snap. I don't know slang anymore. These 18-year-olds got me feeling like an old stick in the mud. Volley underscore Cassidy. If you can't be pretty, be funny, and you can't fix stupid, but I'm trying. I mean, you're right. If you can't be pretty, be funny. Like, that's what I got going on, except I'm also pretty, obviously. Like, who could even... Uh, also, I'm 5'9", just throwing that out there. Not as old as it says on here. Oh, you know what that means. She's 12. Damn, who wants to swipe right on the 12-year-old? Uh, I, I I would if I liked her, but, you know, I can't do it just for the joke. Because maybe it'll start something by accident. Alex19. Artsy-fartsy poly girl. Nope, just kidding. Annalisa20. I don't do poly, you know? Because there's no... I mean, I did a whole stream of consciousness on it. I don't remember what episode it was, but if you want to know the nitty-gritty details as to why polyamory is fucking stupid then you've got that. I mean, you know, it's one thing to be polyamorous. Or it's, I mean, it's one thing to have, like, friends with benefits, like, multiples. Like, fine, you're just, like, a, a whore. Or just a person who enjoys sex with multiple people, which is great. But you can't, like, be in love with, like, five different people. Because you're not, you don't, you don't. If one of them died, you have four, you can just hold yourself in the arms of the other four. And it means nothing. Anyway, I don't really like talking about myself in bio, so if you want to know something, just ask. Oh, and I'm actually 18, lol. Why is no one's age proper? Everybody making their fake Facebook accounts when they were 11, saying they were 18. Now it's seven years later, and it's, you know, it's catching up to them on Tinder. Learn a bunch of pedophiles. But, uh, no, 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 man. Kristen, 22, 5'3", and regularly using step stools. Is 5'3 that short? I mean, I guess it is. 
I think anything like under five foot. Like if you start get, dipping into the fours, then you got problems. But if you're just anywhere in the five range, you're probably like good enough. I wouldn't really consider that short. Hookups are not my thing. Great. I want to meet someone who is genuine and kind, but someone who knows how to adventure and be spontaneous. Ooh, don't we all? That person does not exist for you. I mean, not for you specifically. You know, I'm not saying that as a knock. I'm just saying like, this not a real person. I mean, genuine and kind and adventure and spontaneous. Actually, you know what? There is many, many people like that, but they're all boring, basic ass bitches. So you don't want them. You want someone who's got a little something interesting to bring to the table, not your fucking like Coldplay listening white guy just all day. It's cool to make fun of Coldplay now for some reason. Like that's the new Nickelback almost. You know, it's not really catching on as much as Nickelback did or Smash Mouth. But like they're going that route and it's not their fault. It's just pop culture is kind of weird. They decide their weird little trends of what to think. Oh, well, there's a phone number you can call, I guess. Just don't tell them where you saw it. I mean, it's up here for public consumption, so it's not, I'm not, you know, I'm not liable for this. I will make everybody sign a release saying that, that you do not hold me accountable for whatever happens here. Brandy23... All right, we have a livestock animal and another livestock animal. <laughs> oh my god, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Vegan. I don't know. You're vegan, but you're staring bacon in the face, like, sexually? That's like saying I'm poor, but I'm wrapping dollar bills around my dick. I mean, it seems comparable to me. Bar, I don't know what that is, plus dance equals life. Animal lover. Pigs, especially, apparently. You got a, you got some kind of bacon fetish. Ready to explore the outdoors. Oh, what the hell? This is not, no. These are completely different complexions as well as races. When did you turn whatever this is? You know, I want to say Mexican, but like, you know, people are like, oh, it's not. No, it's the Guatem Ecuadori Brazilian. I'm like, oh, okay. Uh, you're right. I should have known that. I should know every ethnicity and mix that there is in this world because I'm going to meet every single one of them someday. Free the Oregon Zoo elephants. What, just the elephants? You don't give a shit about the other animals in the zoo? Just the elements or, or the elephants being hella mistreated. Oh, you're a goddamn activist. Huh. I don't think I've ever met a vegan activist that wasn't really lesbian. I don't know what the connection is there, but I know it's real. You can quote me on that later when statistics back me up. Elizabeth 20, EXT Jungle Knight. An eyeball, big, yellowish, distinctly inhuman, stares raptly between wooden slats, part of a large crate, the eye darts from side to side, alert as hell. A legend tries to place us. Isla Nublar, 120 miles west of Costa Rica, but to us it's still the middle of nowhere. It's quiet for a second. A roar rises up from the jungle, deafening. The trees shake as something very, very large plows ahead through them, right at us. Every head gathered in this little clearing. Yeah, Asian. Didn't even need to look at the picture to find that out. Although you're saying Costa Rica for some reason. Is Costa Rica Asian? I don't think so. Like, what is, there's like a tropical region of the world that's like all... Like, what is Hawaiian, you know? Like, what, what subset is that? Is, it, is Hawaiian Asian? Is it Mexican? Is it... Or is it its own thing? You know, I mean, like, Puerto Rican is a subset of Spanish, right? So, like, I'm thinking, like, what is Hawaiian a subset of? Just, like, black people that love beaches? <laughs> Hell if I know. Anina, 20. I'm actually 18. Yep. No one... I don't... I don't the age doesn't matter anymore. You just... There might as well just not be a thing. You just tell me what you are. 
Just moved back to Portland after being in Florida for eight years. Why are there so many Californians here now? I don't know. They ran out of water, but then they got water back, but then they already settled here, so they're like, well, and there's also, like, a chance that you'll lose water again. So I get, I get it. You want to make the safe bet. You know, we've got, here in Oregon, we have got, like, trees, and they make do, and it drops off the leaf and into a plastic bottle, and that's what we drink. So it's nice, you know, I can understand it. Kiana18 is a Bratz girl. I totally forgot these things existed. Sugar honey iced tea baby. Oh, are you, are you saying like you look like... I mean, you kind of do. You know what, I'll give that to you. But you're also like not for me, so... Have I swiped right on anyone? Oh yeah, I swiped right on Alex. Or was it Ashley? What was her name? Uh... I don't know, but she had, like, her tongue out in that thing that's, like, I don't like it, but for that that time I did for some reason. Rachel, 18. PNW, born and raised. Columbia Gorge is my hiking scene. I'm not short. I'm fun-sized. I mean, maybe. But also, nah. Nah, Oh, you think I'm being picky tonight? Eh, it's uh, it's eleven twelve right now, so I am kind of in a nightly sort of mood. Maybe changes my tastes a little bit. You know how like when you're tindering at night, and you're just kind of swiping, you're not even paying attention really at all. It's a bad time to do it. You know, you could be your soulmate could just be on a pile of left swipes. Almost twenty one. I am working on becoming an animal trainer, and my dream is to one day open my own animal shelter. I like to read and go for hikes. I like to go for hikes. I have a problem with that, but I don't know how to say what it, what it is. It's just kind of like, I don't know. It, 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 I looked at it for a, too long, and that was how I chose to respond. But it feels right to do that. Go for hikes. Doesn't it? Doesn't that just sound a little bit wrong? Am I the only one? Uh. Maddie, 19. Looking for someone who can't lie. So George Washington, then. You're gonna, I'm gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna need to travel back to. I don't even know what year. <laughs> Is it 1800? 1700? Uh, can't lie. Loves camping and isn't a dick. Yeah, I mean one of those is reasonable. I love camping, riding, adventures, anything outside, basically. I want a new adventure. I mean, there's no new adventures left. We've all already lived to see everything the world has to offer us. It's just sad and bleak and repetitious from here on out, so enjoy it. Rosie21, just a lady who likes laughs. See, that's another one that's go for a hike. I like laughs. This isn't, this isn't grammar. Tinder is weird. Let's go dancing. I mean, I like you, you know? It's just like, but you like laughs. You can't like me. You're too busy liking laughs. <laughs> There's probably like a good amount of people that are just like, shut the fuck up about how they're saying things. You know what? This is my series, so if you want to make your own Tinder series, you by all means go for it and get hella views. Alright, Emily20, I'm fucking nadope. Come at me. Baila conmigo. Whatever that means. It's probably like Spanish, right? Except you're Asian. Wait, are what are what are you? What are those? <laughs> Ethnicities that you were a mix of. Hell if I know, man. I don't know, I'm afraid of things that I don't understand. Angelina 20? You're... Okay, so you're Spanish in this picture, but you're black in this picture. Then you go back to Spanish, and then you go back to black. How many operations have you had, like, when these pictures are taken? Is there, like, a race-changing operation? Is that a thing? I feel like they'd make that a thing by now. You know, it would have outcry, but there would be doctors that do it on the sly for hella money. 
Emily 21, I'm actually 18 and I don't know what these interests are, but Facebook isn't w the times. This account is kind of just a joke, but also not really. Damn, you want it. See, like, you're Hawaiian, right? Or, like, Bangladeshian? Obviously, it's one or the other. But, uh, yeah, not for me. Stacy 22 is a spam account. One picture, no bio. There is your your telltale signs, your red flags, if you will. Latina 411, see, you are too short. Not for me, but just for being alive. Like, it's like 411, you're too tall to be, you might, you just be a midget, you know what I mean? Like, if you're gonna go that low, just like commit and chop off your legs, get shorter legs, and be a midget. And then, you know, people will be like, oh, well, at least that's right, you know, instead of, like, you're too tall for anyone to care that you're short, but you're too short to enjoy any of the things that average height people have. Do you have, like, a full, like, you can never tell how short people are in pictures, it's just, it's kind of pointless. You kind of, you just take their, your, their word for it. 17 years... So 17 years ago, you were one year old because it says you're 18 or you're just another one of those. You, you just had to be a rebel and get a Facebook account a year early. What are 12 year olds using Facebook for? What are you gonna keep tabs on your third grade? I don't know what, I don't know what age people are when they're in school, it's been too long. Eh, just barely not enough. You know? Like, even if you think I'm ugly, ugly people don't want to be with ugly people. That's stupid. I mean, it's, like, probably, like, it should happen just because that way more people can get people. But nobody wants that, you know? You settle for that. It requires sort of a... A not very nice realization about yourself to settle for somebody that's ugly because you think that they fit you. You know, I'd feel bad about that. Like, that was the thing that was happening to people. Which it is. It happens all the time. So, I'm sorry. <laughs> I guess. Well, Ariana, man, eh, she's cute. I mean, she's enough. Yeah, so I'll, I'll give that one. Like I said, like I will never uh, match with anyone on here, no matter how many I swipe right on, because it just doesn't happen. Tinder blacklisted me. They don't like these videos because I shit talk them all the time. And I'm sorry, but you should just ban my account then. Or well, I'll make a new one. So I guess you can't. Too bad. Becca18, I, I care a lot about human and animal rights. You mean like the right to chew on whatever's in your mouth? What is that? Is that a... I can't tell if that's a piercing because it's like on both sides of your lip. Like, what? But it's like curved in. So like it didn't go through your lip. It went through inside your face and then it came out and curved back. Like, what is that for? Okay, that's more like it. I can see. Is it two different piercings or is that just like a connecting loop on the inside? Why do people do this? I honestly do not understand. It is not comfortable. You might as well just, like, chew on a tack like it's a piece of gum and then never swallow it and never spit it out. It gets in the way if you're, like, trying to kiss somebody. I don't know. I, it's something I'll never understand. I really won't. Ariana 18, warning, I am overly sarcastic. Well, I'm gonna swipe right on you. <laughs> See, that was my sarcasm. Alyssa 22, I love being outdoors and having a good time. If you have a good sense of humor, let's talk. Oh, well, we could talk. But I think we won't. Even if I swipe right, we wouldn't talk. <laughs> am I right, people who don't like me? Peyton 20, just a girl who loves alternative... Al alternative music and taking photos. I mean, I did that myself. It's not anything she's in. 
it's just going off the rails in my mind. I'm down for a concert or hanging out at a coffee shop. I'm trying real hard to like not have to edit this video. Because like I don't wanna. I said that I might, but it sounds like so much work now. I just wanna be flawless commentary all day. Which you'll just have to take the bad with the good. You know, I'm a real person. I'm not on 100% of the time. Enjoy the realness. Let's be real, I have Insta goals to reach. Oh, so you... People people do get Tinder just so people will follow them on Instagram. Which makes no sense. Because uh, if you have an Instagram, the last thing you want is people messaging you on Instagram. So it just seems like kind of like you're falling on your own sword there. Morgan19, I'm a huge nerd. Aries, I absolutely love cosplay. Ew, anime and manga. Ew, Japanese major. Ew, digital artist. Ew, one of these. Ah, but I really just, I don't do the Justin Bieber thing on girls. I really do not. I'm just, I'm not a short hair fan in general. You know, I'll take like medium length or long length. And like for me, short is like, I don't know. I, I couldn't give you an example. Like Anika's hair in Empire, that's short, and I don't like that. Um, trying to think of a, like a mildly short that I can. I honestly don't. I don't know. Okay, we have something fucking weird right now. Abriel 20, Abby 18... A, B, D, L, Little, I, N, F, P, T, Polly, already make porn, just want to be a star. I'm kind of scared to swipe onto the next photo of this, because if it's NSFW and this ruins my video, I'll be upset. Um, I mean, it's covering up all the right things, I guess. Let me just, like, not have that be in the video as long as possible, huh? <laughs> yeah. All right, we have Alexa 20. I'm surprised why we I, I haven't like ran out of people. I gave it like three days to refresh since the last one. It usually only gives me like 20 or so people. But then yeah, maybe it just feels long because I'm spending so much time on each one. Alexa 20, fitness lover. I snort when I laugh. Manager at 24 Hour Fitness. I really just need more friends. No, you don't. No, you really don't need more friends. And if you do, Tinder's not the place you go to find friends. Sorry to say. You know who doesn't need uh, more friends is every single person you will be swiping with. There's no guy on Tinder that's like, oh, I'm just looking for some friends that are girls, you know? I just want to, like, keep my dick in my pants and not connect emotionally with anyone. That's really what I'm craving. Sophia19, donate blood and save three lives. No. How about... Oh, I don't have anything witty for that. How about go into a blood bank, take all the blood, and doom many lives? You could do that. I mean, if you want to be a dick. I'm not saying go do it. I'm just saying it's an option. Everything in life is an option. In Portland for the night, let's kick it. Oh, damn, you want to kick it? I swipe right. We match. She's like, hey, you want to meet up? And I'm like, yeah. Yeah, not happening, though. Haley 18 I like to order food because I can't cook much. I love animals. Can you tell? I don't know. I mean, you have a dog. What if you hate that dog and it's just... You're just like, ugh. Well, I mean, they want the picture, so... I guess I can work with you. You know, it's like actors in a movie pretending to be lovers when they hate each other off set. I'm not looking for a hookup. Just looking for my person. Yeah, it's fine. My family means everything to me. Take me horseback riding and call me pretty. Wait. These, these are not, th who's, who's this now? Who are, who are these people? There's so many different people here. I'm just mildly confused, I guess. I mean, she's pretty, but I'm not going to call her that just because, like, I'm not going to follow her orders right out of the gate, you know? Like, let me, fo let me show you my identity first, and then maybe we'll compromise. You know, I guess. Rebecca, 22. We're still doing this, I guess. Uh, passing through town on a bicycle ride in Mexico to Canada. It's just kind of calm for me to just sit here and judge women. You know? <laughs> like, the only thing that could make this better if I was on the toilet. Just swiping. 
judging everyone while I look my grossest. It's a nice little, nice little like anti symmetry there. First of the weddings. How many weddings are you going to? Who all's getting married? Also, what is this tree just had anal sex and exploded? What? Or is that a cave? No, that's a tree because that's bark. Yo, what happened to this tree that it just blew its ass out? Damn, is that a picture of your mama? Oh, I mean, it, it's an obvious. Like, it, someone has to say it, and I'm the only one standing in front of a microphone. So, you know, it's not my fault that I have to be the voice of my generation. I feel God in this Chili's tonight. Five, six. I can't tell if you're making fun of religion or you would, like, actually, like, quoting a thing that's, like, a thing. Girls just want to have basic human rights? Standing with Muslims, Islamophobia, and racism. Thank God you separated the two. You know, you can't be racist against Muslims, they're a religion, but thanks. So, yeah, good. No dapper. Jews reject Trump. Was this planned, that you were having a woman's march in front of a men's warehouse? <laughs> That's where we can store you when they're, um, done, you know, done, like, uh, putting everyone to sleep with, like, their knockout gas, and then you just kind of uh, crowd them in there. And that's how you get rid of protests. Nah. <laughs> I saw the armpit hair, and I was like, I know exactly, you're making a statement. It's not... No one, no girl that has armpit hair isn't, like, really aggressively showing it off. You know what I mean? Like, if you're gonna, you know, say that you don't need to shave, fine. Just don't, like, put, take out a megaphone and shove your armpit into people's face and blare at them. Look at my fucking hair! Anyway. I think we're just about done. You know, I'll go like a couple more. Jasmine, 19. Jasmine with a Z. I'm glad you said it twice, because I wouldn't have gotten it the first time. You know, I read Jasmine the first time, and I was like, oh, that that's an S. They they spe they have S's or Z's now. So that's, I see. But then, no, she corrected me at the end. And I was like, oh, yeah, okay. I mean, she, you know, she's, she's all right. Lauren, 21. Marketing major, pizza roll enthusiast, ooh, that's nice. Seasonally freckled, traveled a bit, attempting to do some more, love me some nature. You, IRL, th I, it, this, this emoji is apparently in circulation right now. I saw that on a profile earlier. Ah, oh, she's nice. Yeah, I'll go for that. And I think that's going to do it for this uh, episode. I hope you enjoyed it. You know, it just, it just means more people for the next episode. Because, again, I hope to do this a lot more, which would be nice. If you like it, you can uh, like, share, and subscribe and whatnot. Weirdly, I got like 4,000 views on the last one. Like, pretty immediately. I didn't know everybody was itching for this to come back. But, you know, thanks for the support. And it'll continue on because of viewers like you. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.